Today I'll be showing you how I replaced this Starbucks logo with the old Starbucks logo, all in a Finley Photo 2 on the iPad. For the past month I've been doing daily YouTube shorts, well, almost daily. I did miss a few days, but I'm back on the wagon again, and there's dailies for the last few days, and hopefully for the next few days too. This here is one of my daily YouTube shorts. I removed this logo in under a minute in a Finley Photo 2 in the iPad, but for today's video, I wanted to go a bit slower, break it down, and show you step by step how I did it. It's very easy, it's fun, so let's get into it. Here we are, back inside the Finley Photo 2 on my iPad, and this is a brilliant image that I got from Unsplash.com. There's a link in the description below of where you can get this image and it's free to download, it's free to work on and it's a really nice image. When I was scrolling through on splash.com, this image made me stop. And I thought, that's a really nice image. And there's something a bit retro looking about this image, just, just the way it looks. And I kind of thought to myself, wonder could I take this logo out, remove the new Starbucks logo and bring in the old Starbucks logo. I made a YouTube short about it. And this is what we're going to look at now in a bit more detail. So the first thing we're going to do is to try to remove this logo. So we're going to get in nice and big. And in the Finley photo, if you pitch, pinch in and out with your finger and thumb, you can zoom in to the canvas, get in nice and tight. And we're going to move down to the left hand side to the stamp or the clone brush, but we don't want the clone brush. If you tap again, we want the in painting brush. And the in painting brush is really, really powerful in Affinity Photo 2. There's a number of things we can do in it on the left hand side you can see we can make the the brush size bigger or smaller there's different things we can do here if we tap here we can change the hardness of the brush so that's going to make the brush really hard which we don't want two fingers to undo we want to feather it and you can kind of see it here hopefully that that feathers it quite nice for this project i might want to feather it about 50 percent or so so it's not it's not completely hard and sharp and it's not too feathered and something like that size i'm going to bring you can move with your apple pencil up and down or you can tap and get really detailed if you want but for something like this we can just kind of eyeball it and just for reference anywhere where there's a white dot on these sliders that means there's there's another option so there's opacity or accumulation that's the flow and that's the hardness so i've got a brush size that i'm happy with a hardness that i'm happy with and this is the fun bit i'm just gonna tap and drag around this logo we'll get the wee trademark in and just fill in the middle and this is the this is the exciting bit when you let go just to see what a Finley photo does with this that's looking really really well if we zoom out there's there's a few wee things we're going to work on but for just a few seconds worth of work that's really impressive I'm going to, there's a line here, there's a bit of a dot here, there's a dot there, and this bit looks a little bit white. So I'm just going to kind of drag all this bit just to see if it what it does. And that's looking really, really, really good. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Again, there's maybe a bit of a line here. But you could you could muck about with this all day and sometimes it improves it, sometimes it doesn't. Does that improve it? Two fingers to undo, three to redo, maybe slightly, but it's it's we're gonna put a logo over this, so you're really not gonna notice too much. But that's just seconds worth of work of taking away a logo. The M painting brush does it again. Doesn't work in every scenario, but it certainly has helped us out in this scenario and it's kept the oh if you do if you accidentally do something like that two fingers to undo it's kept in the green it's kept in some of this kind of artifacting and that's really nice so we need an old starbucks logo so if we just bring up our dog and if we tap on google chrome or the browser of your choice beforehand i've just typed in starbucks old logo png and here's a really old logo which we're not going to go for we're going to go for for this here not to sound old but when i was growing up this was the logo that i was accustomed to and uh it looks, looks quite nice uh when the new logo came out oh i'm going off on the tangent here uh it, it was nice and it's a lot cleaner but i think this image will look really nice on our cup and uh there you go there's a bit of rambling and if we just tap on this image and click open image you can see the image it's nice and big and now if we just tap on this image and click copy image bring our dog back up go back into finley photo 2 there's a few ways of doing this if we tap just one finger and press paste it says photo 2 which means the finley photo 2 would like to paste from chrome don't allow or allow paste allow paste and there we have it we can use our move tool and that is in you can see it's on a separate layer here on the right hand side and we're just gonna scale it down and 
really what we could have done is duplicated this image and kind of put it exactly where the old image is oh, two fingers to undo if you slightly distort the image if you drag by the corners you'll always size an image in proportion whereas if you click on any of the dots on either side it'll kind of warp it a wee bit or, or distort it in either of those two ways so we'll try to put it in the center of the cup and maybe around there and that doesn't look bad a little bit big maybe andrew maybe a wee bit smaller again i'm tr trying to position it and that doesn't look bad there although if just put the view tool just so we get the lines away it doesn't quite look natural and there's a few things we could do here we could try to color correct this and change different things that way but a quick technique that i use and quite often it pays off if we have this starbucks logo selected we'll click on the three lines and just to do a bit of good housekeeping where it says image we'll tap house we'll tap image and just type in starbucks logo just so we know that that's the starbucks logo and blending modes we'll cover blending modes in detail in another video but if we come down where it says normal you can either tap left and the left and right arrows and that'll cycle through the blending modes or you can just tap on it and select it so that way so we're just gonna see what works and darken doesn't look bad but it's taken away too much of the white and that's it normal but i think multiply looks really well and we'll just tap on this so that's what it was before tap to multiply and you can see that just really really blends in so much better and it's actually taken away the white so the cup color is replaced in the background and i think that looks really really good and that's just a few quick tips if you have something that you want the logo replaced the in paint and brush will take away the logo we've, we've we've looked at how to find the logo bring it in change the blend mode so it works in you could work in this more you could work and try to color correct the green a wee bit better on this occasion i think that works really really well and i don't think i would do anything else for this so that's how to make that's how to remove a logo it can be from a cup or something else and again you can make this logo a little bit bigger if you wish i think that looks pretty good and if you save this out and show it to someone i don't think they'd have a clue that that was superimposed it would they'd say that was a photo taken in the 90s and uh yep i think you'd fill them okay so i think that'll do us for today so there you have it hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you learned something this photo there's a link in the description below so you can download it try it out for yourself and go mad you don't have to change it to the old starbucks logo you can put in your favorite coffee shop brand in this cup and that would be quite good fun too let me know in the comments below is starbucks your favorite coffee place or what is i'll look forward to reading them and i'll maybe reply and i'll maybe let you know what my favorite starbucks drink is too please like this video please subscribe there's more videos coming out soon the next one's exciting because it's my one year anniversary on youtube so i'll do a bit of a video about that don't know what's going to be in it yet and as always thanks for watching hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video